Martinez and today I'm going to be baking the berry chantilly cake. The recipe I got is from Jacqueline Clark so I'll be linking her blog post down below. I had already started recording, well I thought I was recording and I had already started with the recipe. So it's 2 and 2 thirds cups of flour and 2 tablespoons and a tablespoon of baking powder. A teaspoon of salt. So I'm using sea salt because that's the only salt we have at the house. After you get your dry ingredients together, you're just going to whisk it all together. Okay, I'm good with this, so I'm going to set it aside. Now we're going to be mixing our wet ingredients. I was going to say our cold ingredients, but hopefully they're not cold. The first thing you're going to do for the wet ingredients is cream the butter, and that's going to be six tablespoons of room temperature butter. There's one piece of butter. So we're gonna beat this mixture for about 45 minutes. Okay, so I whipped that for about four minutes and 30 seconds, which they have they have like a little timer right here, so it tells you how long, which I really like that about this Breville machine. And it also like the it tells you if you want to beat it, fold it. Um, light mix or aerate and whip it it has like all those settings right here so you know what setting you should put your machine on whenever you are baking so now we're gonna add all of the sugar which this was two cups of sugar and i forgot to mention you'll want to preheat your oven to 350 and line your eight inch pans and also like just put a little bit of flour on the side so what i do did is i put a little bit of oil you can also do it with butter and some flour and then parchment paper in the middle so let's cream this all right once that is creamed it's going to look like like this I'm just gonna scrape the sides so it's all together. And something that I used to do and I'm gonna continue to do the more I bake is I typically try new recipes um, and then as I see the results, I taste the results, I kind of note what I would change from them and then I do that in the next attempt. And that's usually how I you know, get a recipe that I really enjoy. Someone that I really love their recipes is Sally's Baking Addiction and you know, sometimes I adjust the recipe depending on like, you you adjust it on your preference. What we're going to do is add two third cups of canola oil or you can use vegetable oil. And then we're going to add one tablespoon of vanilla extract. Okay, so now that that's incorporated, you're going to want to add the dry mix that we made to this. So we're going to alternate that with a cup of whole milk. And you're going to want to mix that on low. You're only going to want to mix that until it's fully incorporated. You don't want to over mix. This recipe smells delicious. I have six eggs and I'm going to mix them until they form stiff peaks. How you know they're stiff peaks is if you lift them up and they don't droop down. And once that happens, I will fold them into this cake mixture and then we will put them in there little pans and they will go into the oven. I'm going to use my spatula to just pour all of it in here. So then you're just going to Fold it in there until it's all fully incorporated with your batter. Okay, so once that is all incorporated together, you're going to grab your pans, fill these up. So now we're just going to even these out and then we're going to bake them in the oven for 30 minutes. And if you see that they have like a lot of holes in them, it's because I didn't have toothpick. toothpicks. I just stabbed them multiple times. It's a little injured. My cake's a little injured. Let's 
Let's just hope it gets all that hot. Oh, easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. That is very satisfying. Yes, sir. All right, so I'm going to let these cool off overnight and we'll decorate tomorrow. All right, so we're going to make the whipped cream. So the first thing that you should do is you should put your bowl in the refrigerator so it can chill for about 15 minutes. And so now we are going to cream everything together. This recipe is a little bit different. So typically when you make icing, everything should be at room temperature. This is almost the opposite for everything. Everything should be chilled. So first we're going to put eight ounces, so a full block of cream cheese in here. We need one and three fourths cups of powdered sugar. We're going to need simple syrup, but only six tablespoons, but that's afterwards. I made my own and it's in the fridge right now. And you'll also need eight ounces of mascarpone, two cups of heavy cream, and a half tablespoon of almond extract. Okay, boom. So let's put in the powdered sugar. So we're going to just have that be all mixed up. So once it's all smooth, you just want to make sure it doesn't have any lumps. So I'm just scraping this down, making sure it's all incorporated together. Now that that's all together, you're going to want to add the mascarpone, which is 8 ounces. And that's exactly what I have here, which is pretty easy, honestly. I like it when I get recipes that are like this because that means I... Do not have to clean up as much because typically you get like all these little bowls that you need to clean up and I'm just like, is it even worth it? It's always worth it. Let's mix this bad boy up. So now you're going to want to add the heavy cream and so we're going to turn the mixture on the lowest setting because we don't want milk all over the place. Okay, so now I'm going to add half a teaspoon of almond extract. So I changed the attachment to a whisk attachment. Um, and so now we're going to whip the icing and it's going to be like a whipped cream consistency. And we're going to do that for about 30 seconds to a minute. You get this literally whipped cream. It looks like this. Looks and smells so good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put this in the fridge. Meanwhile, we assemble the cake. Let's grab our first layer of cake there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the simple syrup on here first. So we're gonna put three tablespoons in total for each cake. So now you're gonna add like half a cup on this layer and just spread it. And then the second layer is going to be jelly. I kind of feel like I want to add a little bit more icing so it's a little bit thicker. Because I don't know about y'all, but the icing is my favorite part. Yes. Spread the jelly. Spread the love. So what you're gonna do is cover it with some sliced fruit. And I'm kind of slicing on the go. You probably should have done this before. We're gonna cover this whole thing with some icing. So cover it with some layer of icing and then it's gonna go into the fridge for 15 minutos.
time to decorate the cake and it's been in the refrigerator for a little bit over 15 minutes but that's okay so this is the part that's the hardest part for me because I am not the best decorator but as long as it tastes good I'll be fine That is the completed look of the cake. So I will link this whole recipe down below. I'm still learning how to decorate and how to bake and all this stuff, but I really wanted to make this recipe. I cannot wait to taste it, and I will tell you guys what I think. Be sure to subscribe and leave any comments, any requests on any kinds of videos you guys want to watch. Ooh, look at you, miss. I mean, I could you know, get better at envisioning how the fruit should actually look together. Oh, yeah.